Welcome to the online video homework for topic 6.7, Carbonyl Reactions Type A, Formation of Hydrates, Hemiacetals, and Hemiketes. Before attempting the problems in this homework, you should read lessons 5.4 and 5, as well as lesson 6.7 in the Organic Chemistry 2 Primer 2018 by Tennyson, Hoosier, and Smith. To see some problems involving other carbonyl reactions of type A, as they're referred to in the primer, you should watch the video for lessons 5.4 and 5, and there is a link in the description if you're watching this video on the YouTube site. Our first problem provides us with a ketone reacting with water under catalytic acidic conditions. It's asking for the major product of the initial nucleophilic addition protonation step, as well as for you to provide the name of the functional group in the product. Now in this primer we refer to certain types of reactions as being type A for the carbonyls, and this involves a nucleophilic addition step to provide initially a negatively charged oxygen, and after you protonate that with some acidic water in this case, you'll obtain an alcohol to which the nucleophile is added. So here's the general mechanism and we're kind of color coding some of the pieces. We'll keep track of where this oxygen goes and we'll have a red colored oxygen that comes from the water and we've color coded our acid blue just like we have in the general mechanism below. So if we draw in our water as the nucleophile and have it attack in the initial nucleophilic addition step, we can see that we would add the water to the carbonyl carbon. And at some point, we'll also have to lose an H from this oxygen, deprotonate it to form a neutral species. So we'll initially form this material shown here. And this is a racemic mixture because we have generated a chiral center from an achiral starting material. And next, we have to protonate this negatively charged oxygen in this acidic media. And that's how we get the final product. This product now has two OHs here. No longer racemic because we don't have a chiral center here anymore. It was chiral here, but now you have two OH groups, and this is called a hydrate. And we're going to do the same problem, but this time we have one equivalent of an alcohol, ROH, as the starting material. We'll start out identifying the nucleophile. In this case, it's going to be this alcohol. And we'll keep in mind the general carbonyl type A reaction mechanism. So we identify our alcohol as the nucleophile. It undergoes nucleophilic addition in combination with the carbonyl, and that leads to our initially formed species once we deprotonate that alcohol as well. You could show that in two steps. Here I'm going to show it in one step to save some space. And now we have a racemic mixture because we've generated a chiral set. Other than the fact that this is an OR from the alcohol instead of an OH from water, this is identical to the mechanism we saw in the previous problem. And the next step is simply protonation of that O to yield the OH group down here. And since this is made from a ketone and we've put an OR group on, this is a hemiketal. And we can carry out the identical procedure using an aldehyde as the starting material instead of a ketone. We can start off by identifying our general mechanism and we can again draw our alcohol, have it undergo nucleophilic addition to the carbonyl with deprotonation at the same time. And we'll fill in the specific identity of the ROH at the end of the problem. But this leads to our intermediate here. And right now this is a racemic compound. We generate a chiral center here. And then we simply protonate that negatively charged oxygen. And we're going to get a hemiacetal. Since the starting material was an aldehyde, we use acetal at the end instead of ketal. And now the final step is going to be to fill in the particular identity of this R group here. Now we can draw the S2 pentanol out as we show here in red. And if we identify that and draw it here where it was in the product, we see that that will be how it will look in the product. Now that stereocenter is on the carbon and that carbon did not gain or lose any bonds in the course of this reaction mechanism. We simply use the O as the nucleophilic atom in that molecule when we started out our very first step if we think back to how this reaction took place. So that stereocenter will remain in the S configuration in the product. Now this stereocenter, on the other hand, that we generated in the course of doing the reaction will be a one-to-one -one mixture of R and S isomers. So we will have the SS isomer and the SR isomer, and those are diastereomers. So we have a mixture of two diastereomers. And remember that a racemic mixture is a mixture of two enantiomers in equal quantities. So this is not a racemic mixture. It is instead a mixture of two diastereomers. Now at this point in our organic chemistry study, we should be able to propose or hypothesize arrow pushing mechanisms for steps that we have not yet seen specifically taught to us. And this is a question that's asking us to do just that. So first this question starts off by reminding us that we know that if an OH group becomes protonated, it can leave as water from a molecule. We saw that in the course of several 
alcohol reactions that we saw in organic chemistry 1 or earlier in organic chemistry 2. So after reminding us that that is something we've seen before, this question asks us to provide a reasonable arrow pushing mechanism for the removal of water from the hemiacetal shown here to eventually form the product provided here. So we have to think about how we would facilitate that transformation. And I'll start by color coding the different groups, the OH group, the OR group, and the H+. And the problem sort of gave us a clue that the first step might be protonating the OH group so that it can become water. So we'll start by doing that. And that would give us this species. And I've kept this hydrogen in blue to show us that it came from the acid. Now since we were given the product, we know that we want to form a double bond here. And we want to break this bond. We need to show some arrows that will facilitate those two things happening. If we take a lone pair from here and push it here to make the pi bond, we can simultaneously push this water off the molecule. And that would be a reasonable way to get to this end product. And the next problem is building upon that previous problem. It's asking us now, what would be the major neutral organic product of nucleophilic addition of an alcohol, HOR, to the species that was produced in the previous problem? So they've redrawn here the species we just made. And it's asking us to do a nucleophilic addition of ROH. And we know what the nucleophilic addition step looks like. And then we're going to work this up to get a neutral product. So we'll start off by color coding some things. And we know that it's asking us to do a nucleophilic addition of this alcohol to the species here. Nucleophilic addition must be added to a pi bond. And we're going to want to push electrons towards this O that's positively charged. It certainly has a strong need for electrons to neutralize that. And that will get us to this initial species where here is our ROH that we just had as the nucleophile. And then our second step, some type of workup to provide a neutral species, we would simply have to take off the H from this positively charged oxygen. And we could do that by having some of the alcohol in the solution pull off the proton like that. And that would lead to this species, which is now achiral because we have OR, OR, two of the same groups on the carbon here. It had been racemic here when this was different from this. But in the end, we get an achiral product. And we'll learn in a few lessons in the primer that these are actually very reasonable steps that happen. If we look back at the previous problem, if you take a hemiacetal, it will undergo this type of reaction to form this intermediate. And after that, if you have an excess of alcohol around, so there's more that can keep adding, you'll eventually get to this acetal.